Just for brothers, we all winning. We leaving and we going overseas. Just for brothers, we all winning. We leaving and we going overseas. You know we going overseas. You know we going overseas. You know we going overseas. We know we going overseas. They most submissive overseas. They most submissive overseas. You know we going overseas. Cause they most submissive overseas. Overseas. Passport brothers, we all went in. We leaving and we going overseas. Passport brothers, we all went in. We leaving and we going overseas. You know we going overseas. They most submissive overseas. They really nice overseas, really polite overseas. No more cash app overseas, no more attitudes overseas. You know we going overseas, so we going overseas. Yeah, overseas. Yeah, overseas. Class for brothers, we all went in. We leaving and we going overseas. Class for brothers, we all went in. We leaving and we going overseas. You know we going overseas. You know we going overseas. You know we going overseas. I'm packing up my things, going overseas. You know we going overseas. Why? Cause they most submissive overseas. They most submissive overseas. So I'm packing up my things, going overseas. Hey, chill. Overseas. Hey, chill. Going overseas, baby. Going overseas, baby. Pass for brothers. We are winning. We leaving. If we going overseas, pass for brothers. We are winning. Yeah, we leaving. If we going overseas, cheer. Okay. Yeah. It's going to help, baby. Huh. Going overseas, baby. Going overseas, baby. baby. Cheer. Okay. Yeah, 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 what's good, what's good? It's your boy, Il Flo Spitter, a.k.a. Cleave the Villain, coming out that h time, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. It's the Closet TV, while I bring you the news from the closet. Okay, so let me step myself right into this thing. So, all right now, Willie D, let me holler at you, man. Let me holler at you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've always been a fan of Willie D, you know what I'm saying? I've always kind of looked up to him, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've always loved the ghetto boy, Scarface Willie D, rest in peace, uh, you know what I'm saying, Bushwick Bill or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But um, when you're out of line, 
you're out of line. What's right is right, or what's wrong is wrong. And I feel like Willie D is wrong for his assessment about this whole situation about this girl getting slapped in the face with a brick. Now, I do not condole women getting hit or hurt, especially by men. And I damn sure don't condole any man uh, hitting a female with a, a, a brick or a rock or any type of object. No, no, no. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hell no. We don't. We, we good men don't like that to happen. Good men do not like these type of things to happen to women. But I heard Willie D live the other day and shout out to Rango TV. I watched Rango's live. He was getting on Willie D's ass. You know what I'm saying? He was. Yeah. He was. Yeah. Yeah. He was getting on his ass. You know what I'm saying? Because Rango, you know what I'm saying? Understood that Willie D is, I, I, I feel like he's kind of, I don't want to say pandering to women, but he has some type of soft spot for women, man. And we love our women. We don't want them to be, you know, um, in harm's way. We always want our women to be protected. But these demonic women, these demonic feminist demons, do they deserve protection from good men? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why in the world would a man or why should a man put his life on the line for a female who he doesn't know? only to receive jail time or death or the female probably never said thank you she was not grateful for what he did or he went to jail or he died why would a man why should men continue to do this why should men continue to face this type of abuse see a lot of men right have faced so much abuse have faced so much abuse that women are the, the women who caused the pain and the, and the abuse are so used to doing it over and over again that it is a part of their lifestyle, fam. This is why I say y'all have to get your passports and go overseas and find wives. Or if you stay out here, just worry about yourself and your money and your image. You know what I'm saying? Build your relationship with God Almighty. Build your relationship with your family. Build your relationship with your bank account, your pockets, your money. But do not chase or run after any of these females. Do not cold approach. Do not sit up there and give unnecessary compliments. Keep your eyes to yourself. Keep your private part to yourself. Stop thinking with your private part. Straight up. If you can do that, then you'll be able to ignore these people because silence is the best answer for a fool. And these women do not like to be ignored. They do not like when a man knows his worth. They do not like when a man takes his time, his attention, and his sex, his his private part, serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. These women do not like when men take themselves seriously. Straight up and down. So anyways, man, I don't think men should be sitting up there helping no woman that's disrespectful, mean, rude, you know what I'm saying, entitled, masculine, feminist. No, nah, ain't nobody from the, ain't, nobody's going to help y'all straight up and down. And if y'all and, and you women have put y'all, y'all have dug yourselves into a hole. Now, men ain't playing no games. It's going to get worse and worse and worse because men eyes have opened and. All, all, all the men have to do now is just spread the news, spread the news. I don't care if it's about wearing shirts that have expressions on expressions on them, because I'm going to be selling these shirts, man. Merchandise. Yes, sir. And these shirts are going to have expressions on there. Straight up. And we are going to show men how to act. But you women are not going to get away with this anymore. It's over with. You got different states. They took away alimony now. Uh huh. So now y'all not not now you have white women talking about they don't want to be Republican no more. They're going to be Democrats because they took away the alimony thing. Oh, so because they took away alimony to where you can't be roaching off of a, off of your ex-husband when you're with somebody else, but he has to take care of you for the rest of your life. That stuff just come to an end, baby. It's over with. Oh yeah. And what else is over with? DNA fraud, paternity test fraud, child support fraud, all that stuff coming to an end, baby. And that is women's worst nightmare because if they can't depend on the government, Ooh, we did. Who did the, who are the women going to depend on? And we're not talking about all women because all women are not evil. We're talking about the women that are doing this stuff. And it appears as if it's a whole lot of these kind of women. And it's just flat out ridiculous. So do I feel sorry for the lady that got hit in the face with a brick? I don't want to see no woman get hit in the face, period. But would I help her if I seen it happen? And that was absolutely not. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't help. And you can't ask no questions. Yeah. Straight up and down. Yeah, you can't ask no goddamn questions. Straight up. Would I help? Yeah, that's a question. You can't ask no questions. I wouldn't help a demon if you paid me to. 
straight up. These women are disrespectful. They get online, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all these social media platforms and outlets, and they dehumanize men on a daily basis. They say that they don't need men, but at the same time, they're mad because men didn't help when they was getting their ass beat. So the same lady that say, I'm independent and don't need a man and disrespects men, expects men to help when she's in danger. Absolutely not. Nobody's going to help you. People will just roll up a blunt, pop the popcorn, kick their feet up and watch you suffer. Watch you suffer whatever the hell you're going through. Nobody's going to help you. Nobody's going to jail. Nobody's about to die for you. No. Straight up and down. The only type of women that we want to protect that we want to protect are soccer moms, senior citizens, and little itty bitty little girls, little kids. That's it. That's the only type of women that deserve protection, if you ask me. Women that fear God. Women that have respect and love and honor and integrity. That have no business and no place in this world disrespecting a man. Those are the type of women that we want to protect, and we would die for those women. Straight up and down. Anyways, man, it's your boy Ill Flow Spitter, a.k.a. Cleve Divina, coming out there at H-Town, Houston, Texas, Southwest Minister they Closet TV, while I bring you the news from the closet. Shout out to Rango TV. Shout out to, um, who else? Crimson Cure, Danica Marie. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. Dennis Sperlin. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. We can keep on going. We can keep going. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go live about this, man, because this is real important that we shed, uh, you know, spread the news to the men. That you cannot put your life on the line just because somebody's pretty, just because somebody has a big booty, just because somebody has a vagina, just some, just because somebody is, you know, it, just because it's a female in general, whether it be black, Hispanic, white female, uh, 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 Latin, fem- whatever. Don't put y'all men, fellas, listen to me. Do not put yourself on the line for any modern female who's a demon straight up and down. Anyways, man, always remember, it's just one God, which is Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Easy. Cheer.